Hi guys, this is George back here with another vlog and today I am here at Thorpe Park before the season opens for a pass holder behind the scenes preview event. So today there's going to be a lot of different things going on. Uh, we're going to be going around the park seeing all of the Sparkle project updates that they've been doing over winter. We're going to go and see Big Easy Boulevard, the new area opening this year. And as well as that, we're going to be going onto the site office balcony for Hyperia, which is very exciting. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting back inside the park. It's been ages since I've last been back in the park. Of course, uh, I've been heading down Monk's Walk a lot for these Hyperia updates. However, today is the first day in months where I'm going to be getting back into my home park, uh, seeing what they've all been doing over the winter. And as well as that, hopefully we'll see some ride testing today. I mean, we're only a couple of weeks away from the season, so uh, maybe we'll see some ride testing. So yeah, let's head in and see what's going to happen. So from here, you can also get a good view over at the new entrance sign which has been repainted and you've got the new logo on there as well. That's actually looking really good in my opinion. And then of course you've got Hyperia just behind that as well, which was topped off a few days ago. Yeah, it's not the nicest day in terms of weather today. However, I'm going to make the most of it. So this tour lasts for about four hours and I believe we're going to be getting a tour around and we're going to be able to ask questions and as well as that, see what's been going on. Of course, the park have been posting lots of images of the Sparkle project, but today I'm gonna to get to see it all in person. So we've just had a bit of a talk there about what's gonna be going on. We're allowed to take photos and videos from most of the places. There are a couple of places where I'm not gonna be able to uh, show you, uh, and I do think I know where they're gonna be. Uh, so I will talk about that, but obviously I'm not gonna be getting any footage there because they are exclusive and that's part of the tour and of course we're paying customers so that's the reason we're seeing it early than the rest of the public so we've just been given a high vis as well we're heading over the bridge look at hyperia just over there that looks absolutely incredible of course this is the first time i've seen it from the bridge since fright nights and then you've got all the repainted bridge as well this is looking fantastic of course you've got all of the new branding on all of the signs as well here rides have been testing the swarm has gone round Vortex and Rush have been testing and Russ has just said that we will be seeing lots of testing today uh, on most of the rides. So loads of work is still going on in the dome. We've also got the island shop open so we're going to get a preview of some of the new merch for 2024. And Vibes is open as well where we're going to be trying some of the new food in Big Easy Boulevard. Here we go, let's go and have a look. So yeah, very much a work in progress still, obviously. Let's go and have a look. Here's a look at some of the pin badges then. Everyone's just swarmed over here, just getting as many as they can. Here we go, so we've got the new logo up there and you've got it in there as well. Another one is a Thought Park 2024 one that's got Hyperia on. I've actually just grabbed that one, which is really nice. Yeah, there's lots of other new ones on here. That Rush one, I believe, is new, and that Tidal Wave one is also new. Oh, there's a new one for Colossus there as well, and the Swarm. Oh, they're really nice, actually. They're fantastic. Here we go, literally everyone's, everyone's just trying to get as much as they can. This is a really nice hoodie here for Stealth. I think this is new. I haven't seen this before. That looks fantastic. I really like that. Here you go. You've got some of the new mugs here as well. Very different style to the other ones they sell. Here we go. We've got one for Colossus over here. Oh, and Stealth. Oh, here we go. We've got, yeah, we've got a few here. We've got one for Stealth. I quite like that one. And the Swarm, Colossus, Nemesis Inferno, and Tidal Wave. Just there as well. Or Amity as a whole, I think that one is. Here we, go. here we go. We've got some of the other merch over here. This was all from last year. There we go. Yeah, I think it's the pin badges that most people are interested in. That seems to be where most of the new stuff is. Here we go. Yeah, all of this stuff is uh, not new. So we've just had lunch in Vibes. It was really nice actually. Some of the new food that's gonna be on park this year. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's like a gyro or something. I have no idea, but it was really nice. You can have a few different types of things in there. You can kind of customize it how you want. I had chicken, fries and cucumber in there. Really nice actually. Look at Hyperia over there. The sky is a bit grey, unfortunately. However, just look at it on the skyline here. Everything looks so small next to it. Oh, Saw's testing over there. There it goes. 
the swarm has just been testing and so is stealth as well hopefully we're going to see more tests in fact i can see swarm just leaving uh, the kind of mid-course brake run over there so hopefully we'll be seeing another train dispatched shortly and hopefully we will for stealth as well i've only seen the one go around so far rush has just been testing as well you can hear that from a mile away there we go it's great to be back here the first time back here since fright nights of course i've missed it i've really missed it it's not the best weather for it today unfortunately however i'm gonna make the most of it so we're heading to the Thorpe Shark cabins now. I think I know what's about to happen because I have heard from the tour this morning that this had happened and this is going to be one of the parts that I'm not going to be allowed to take photos of. So we're going to be going over to the Shark Hotel. There's Coloss new Colossus themed rooms which are coming, which I assume we're going to see. But also I believe there's Hyperia themed rooms, which we're also going to be allowed to see. That's obviously the bit that I'm not going to be able to film because uh, that's an exclusive. Most people haven't seen that yet. So let's head over and go and have a look. Here we go, through the shark's mouth. You've actually got some really nice Easter eggs in here with lots of old signing around the park. We've got the Rocky Express entrance sign there. There's an old Thought Park logo sign there. Canada Creek Railway. There's lots of cool things to see in here. Here we go. So I assume from this point it's going to be cameras off. So let's go and have a look. So there's three Hyperia rooms here at the Thorpe Shark cabins. We've just seen them. They look absolutely brilliant. So uh, obviously no photos and videos in there, but we're allowed to talk about them. So you've got all the Hyperia kind of branding vinyl onto the walls. And then on one of the walls, you've got a 3D image uh, that lights up of the Hyperia logo and the wings, which looks absolutely amazing. Another thing I absolutely love in there is the fact that it's got the story of Hyperia written on the shower room door, which is fantastic. Lots of gold in there. Uh, lots of different branding for the coaster it looks amazing i'd love to stay in one of those rooms this year i am planning on staying on the site here the night before hyperia's opening day so hopefully i'll be able to get one of those rooms once they go on sale there's rush testing over there look at hyperia over there as well you can see it from everywhere vortex is testing we've just had a look inside the new uh the refurbished swarm toilets as well they're looking really fresh lots of cool lighting in there hyperia just looks crazy over there so we're heading over to amity cove now where i, I assume we're going to see the new bridge for tidal wave look at colossus over there as well of course that's been having its repaint that's looking very fresh <laughs> So Tidal Wave's bridge has been redone, as you probably know. And we've, it's gone back to the original Pier 13 theme as well. There's no sponsorship anymore. Detonators testing over there. Of course, we're going to be heading over there later. You can get your first glimpses into Big Easy Boulevard over there. Looking forward to going and seeing that. We're now heading into the Megastore toilets, which have been refurbished. Looking forward to seeing that. Apparently, there's loads of different Easter eggs to see in here. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're like. Here we go, we're going to get a view over to Big Easy Boulevard now, hopefully. Hopefully we'll see uh, if there's been any work done with the entrance sign. There's Detonator. Yeah, there we go. So the old Angry Birds sign's been completely removed. Ready for a new one to come in. Right, let's go and have a look inside these toilets. Here we go, here's some of the Easter eggs. Lots to do with uh, the Fright Nights show, Lycans and Amity Vampires on there. Here we go, loads of different old areas of the park as well. Calypso Key, Ranger Country, Thorpe Park Rangers, New Orleans Crocodiles, I assume that's a hint of Big Easy Boulevard. Thorpe Lycans, there we go, the werewolves. There we go, look, you can see some of the stalls down in there as well. Oh, here we go, it says Poop Deck on the door. Yeah, these look really good, actually. Here we go, then. We're heading into Big Easy Boulevard. I'm, this, I'm just making sure I don't get the Sunset Cinema sign in the background, because that's the second thing we've been asked not to film. But here we go. You can see lots of the buildings over here. This is looking really nice. Big Easy Bumpers over there. That's looking really good. I'll go have a look at Detonator in a second as well. Here's a look inside Sweet Easy then. This is the sweet shop inside Big Easy Boulevard. There's gonna be loads of different sweets here, pick and mix stuff, which will be good. Yeah, it's looking nice in here, very fresh. We'll go and have a look at Detonator now as well. I've just seen 
had a look at it and it looks fantastic. So let's go have a look. There it is. Of course, you've got the new sign on there. This is themed to a firework factory. It looks absolutely brilliant. I came down amongst walks. The there we go. Here saw... Here's a look at the new sign for detonator then. Caution, firework test in progress. I love all of these little details. And of course, that's where uh, the queue time is going to be advertised on that screen just there. Ride restrictions there. And you've got all the fireworks over there as well. They look really cool. This is looking absolutely fantastic. Here's a look at big easy bumpers. Look at these road markings on the path as well. These look cool. Of course, all of the different cars have had a refurb. That's where uh, the ride time, the queue time will be listed on there. Gate of gasoline. I like all these signs around here. These look fantastic, these cars. They've all got different number plates as well. Of course, to fit with the ones in Louisiana. These look really, really good. A few different colors on there. We're heading over to Stealth now which has had some work done to the entrance. So we'll go have a look at that. Oh, it's great to see this up close again. <laughs> We've got announcements going. There we go, someone's riding around on it. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I wish that was me right now. Here we go, We've still got lots of these Hyperia signs around as well. that were of course put up over Fright Nights. Here we go, here's a look at the new sign for Stealth. So of course for all for a long time now, the sign has been saying zero to 80 in 2.3 seconds. However, it's now finally been changed to zero to 80 in 1.8 seconds. There's lots of other signage to see around here as well. Here it comes. That building is being repainted. You guys are so predictable. This morning we all stood here and did launch. Everyone was so bad. There's a look at the repaint over at Stealth Station. Looking fantastic. All of the signage over here as well. Lots of Easter eggs here. Of course, you've got Freedom Fireworks to detonate. Uh, some of them mean nothing, as Russ just said. Gator Gasoline is the brand of gasoline they're using for uh, Big Easy bumpers. Here we go, yeah, we've got loads of different Easter eggs around here. Here we go. These look brilliant. And then here's a look at the re repainted station that I think looks absolutely fantastic. Here we go. I really like this empty speedway artwork just over here with the car. That looks brilliant. I'm really looking forward to getting up in this station. Of course, when the park opens and being able to see it all from up there just before you get on and of course when you exit the ride as well. It's looking very fresh around here. There we go, just pulling the restraints down. Getting ready to dispatch it. So this is one of my favorite Easter eggs in the area. Stealth versus Rita. Of course we all know which one's the better one. It's of course Stealth just here. You've got Sunset Cinema advertised on that one as well. Slick motor oil. What I like up here as well, how it's got, it's a photo finish of course as you get into the exit and that's what it says over the voice as you exit the ride in a very dramatic voice. It looks brilliant around here. Really, really liking all these new signs. Here we go, Amity Diner just there. Don't think that's an Easter egg to anything. I can't recognize anything from on there. I'm so excited to get back on stealth. I've missed this so much. Here we go, look at some of the other signs. Then we've got even more over here as well. Depth charge there. Amity Hotel there as well. Of course, that's not, uh, that's, uh, related to KFC, which is kind of disguised from the outside as the Amity Hotel with the big shark going through. Here we go, let's go get a closer look at the entrance portal as well for stealth. There we go. The tyres looking very fresh there. And of course, 0 to 80 in 1.8 seconds. Just there as well. 
Hyperia has just completely changed the skyline of this park. Everywhere you look, it's there. You can just see it from everywhere. I appreciate it's not showing up great because of the grey sky there. However, on a sunny day with blue skies, it's going to look absolutely beautiful on the skyline. Here we go, heading over to Nemesis Inferno now. There's been some work on the fencing, uh, the queue line fencing around here. Here we go. There's a look at the entrance over there. Can't wait to get back on Nemesis Inferno. Of course, we've got Nemesis coming up next weekend. Nemesis Reborn. I'm going to be there on the opening day. Very excited to get back on it. Oh, I think I've just heard stealth going around. Yep, there it is. So things have had a bit of a shuffle around in here. So the till used to be over here. That's now over there by the exit. And then you've got the old safari ride vehicle just over here as well. That used to be over there. But yeah, now that's over here. Look at this. I really like how they still have this on show. Really nice. Yeah, it's looking really good in here. Of course, you've got all the different merch here. Lots of the new merchandise for Nemesis Inferno over there, as well as the old stuff. And you've also got some of the uh, Infinity branding stuff still on sale here as well. Here we go then, the main event, Hyperia. First time seeing it in person from in the park. Oh my God, it is absolutely huge. What a view you're gonna get walking over to this coaster. Of course, you've got Burger King over here, which is being redone, and the toilets, which are being redone to fit in with Hyperia. But this is the main event right here. Oh my God, look at the size of that lift hill. Of course, I was down Monk's Walk on Wednesday watching this thing getting topped off. So go and check out that video if you haven't already seen it. It looks incredible from here. You've still got the evacuation steps that need to go to the top of the lift hill. Here we go. We're actually going to be heading inside the, inside the site at some point, up onto the site viewing balcony, which I'm really looking forward to. We're going to get some great views up there. Oh, wow, it looks beautiful. Look at the station over there. You can see the wings over there as well on the station that look fantastic. The outer bank turn out the station. There's the maintenance bay. Here we go. Oh, wow, this looks incredible. Here we go into the Hyperia construction site. And we're going to be going up onto the site office for some amazing views. Oh, wow. There we go, of course, the maintenance bay there. It's very muddy around here. This is just looking absolutely stunning. Here we go. There's, of course, the new shop, Hyporium. Amazing name, I love that where you're going to be able to get all your Hyperion merch and on-ride photos. And there's a couple of pieces of the ride there as well, the evacuation steps and also the last couple of supports that need to go up. There they are. Oh, wow. There we go. You can see. Put that down there. Here's a look at Black Mirror Labyrinth then, which of course has been announced to not be reopening here at Thorpe Park. If you never got to experience it, it was a mirror maze in there with a few different scenes that you went through. It was quite an immersive experience to be fair. I enjoyed it and going in there uh, with people who didn't know what to expect was certainly very amusing. But yeah, goodbye Black Mirror Labyrinth. And of course you've got Slammer just behind it as well, which the park have also confirmed is going to be taken down by the end of this year and it's about time. Moving on over to Colossus now, there's been quite a lot of work going on here over winter, of course. The improved entrance sign that is looking absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love the look of this. And there's been some painting on the track as well, which we'll see in a minute. Uh, something else that's just been talked about as well, uh, that was asked in a different group on the site balcony, whether there was going to be onboard audio for Hyperia. It's not going to be onboard audio. However, there is audio that will be synced up to the ride that you'll hear throughout the duration of the coaster. So I'm really looking forward to that. I was really hoping there was going to be onboard audio. Then when I heard a while ago that it wasn't happening, uh, yeah, it was 
quite disappointing to be honest but now knowing that we are going to still hear audio throughout the ride while you're on it is fantastic to hear. yes it won't be on board audio however you're still going to hear it which will be absolutely fantastic here we go we can see all of the work on the bridge over here as well all of the repainting that's looking fantastic it's looking very clean over here at colossus we're about to see this cobra roll here as well which has been repainted and it's looking amazing here we go if we zoom in over there looking absolutely fantastic here we go so still clearly a lot to do around colossus we've got all of these just here which i assume are going to go up on all the bollards around the area we're heading into the shop now as you can see the front has been repainted looking fantastic with all the blue and gold and they've been doing a lot of painting inside as well let's go and have a look here we go this is looking fantastic this kind of celestial theme there we go we've got all the merch over here of course yes. the new and the old stuff and on-ride photos over there so this window is a great place to view colossus so there were uh, all fridges around here the tills have been moved over here there were fridges blocking kind of blocking this window before but now as you can see you can look straight out the window over at the ride some of it hasn't been repainted yet you can see where they stopped just there of course there wasn't enough time to do the whole thing however russ has just said that that will be completed uh next season or over the close season next year there's a look at rush that's had some repainting over the close season vortex has also and i think that's where we're heading to now yeah it's been great to go around and see all of the painting that's been going on around the park uh it's looking really fresh of course rush vortex big easy boulevard is looking fantastic there's been so much going on around the close season uh, and today has really shown that of course we've known from the, all the updates going on on social media however it turns out there's even more than we were actually expecting of course those hyperia hotel rooms which we saw earlier that are looking fantastic and there is so much other stuff going on around the park as well there's a closer look at vortex that has just been cycling there we go all of the paints looking very fresh on there great to see that finally getting some love it was looking a bit faded by the end of last season and that's pretty much the end of the tour now there's a look at quantum nothing's really happened over there there we go that's pretty much the end of the tour now it's been fantastic to go around the park see everything that's been going on just getting back into the park has been amazing seeing all the new merch seeing the hyperia hotel rooms going on the site balcony seeing all the painting going on it's been absolutely fantastic and i've picked up some of the new merch as well so then guys that is pretty much now the end of this vlog here however i will just show you the new merchandise that i bought for this year so I showed you these briefly earlier when we were all in the island shop, however, I'll go into detail with them now. So as you can see, you've got 2024 Thought Park on there. You've got Hyperia on there. And I like the glitter 2024. That's, of course, in gold as well to fit with Hyperia. Then we've got the new Thought Park logo in orange, which looks quite nice there. And then also the Thought Park logo on the kind of circle background here, established 1979. So then guys, that is now the end of this vlog here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly and follow me on Twitter at George Kelly. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe everyone and I'll see you all later. Bye.